Now, for a long time, a number of people have been advocating for the bringing together of the capital markets into the space of sourcing financing for the business people. And you can call it listing. It's been a challenge for many businesses in Uganda to actually list on the stock exchange. Now, today we have initiatives that are being started where local companies can list as a way of mobilizing capital, an affordable avenue of mobilizing capital for that matter. <laughs> The consistent poor capital markets performance continues to deny many local enterprises an avenue to raise more affordable capital to support operations. To industry observers, the bigger problem lies with the low policy and structural support to enable small and medium enterprises to list and therefore use capital markets platforms like Uganda Securities Exchange to raise affordable capital. This situation is compounded by the taxation policy which discourages would-be local investors from picking up stocks of listed companies. It's in raising taxes that are due on investment capital gains tax being one of them, the taxes on dividends uh, paid out to shareholders, because we believe that these then hinder potential investor from stepping into this market, especially since it's still young as a market. Has for years been dominated by large multinational players, a situation most SMEs blame are the stringent participation conditions and low awareness among small and medium enterprises of the requisite requirements and potence of the capital market in raising financing. It is to this end that Uganda Manufacturers Association has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Capital Markets Authority. This ceremony is, is a milestone that we must celebrate because it is not only bringing awareness, but it is a start of a commitment on both parties to do their part and to see how we can increase the market-based financing in Uganda. The key message from the manufacturers is the Capital Markets Authority to support its members in their quest to participate in the market since most sit within the SME docket and some are worthy of their kind of financing. We asked the uh, 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 Capital Markets Authority to ease on the requirements for listing at all levels. Is the fees that are charged by your accredited agents, the advisory agents. Sometimes it's almost impossible when you look at the fees of producing the prospectors before you can go into an, uh, an, uh, an IAPO because of costs. The Capital Markets Authority notes that it is pushing for reforms to drive easy market access. Just to emphasize that uh, market-based financing goes beyond public offers of equity. It could be private offers of equity. There could be public offers of debt through listing of corporate bonds. Or there could be private placements uh, of debt. There could also be private placements of equity you know, through the offer of securities to a few individuals. So these are some of the reforms we want to see done in our offer of securities regulations uh, to make it easier um, for companies to access the public and private markets. Affordable working capital in Uganda, like it is in many African countries, continues to elude many enterprises. As it is, part of the problem lies in the policy gaps to support local capital mobilizations and the low awareness about alternative avenues such as capital markets and the crucial role it plays in plugging the financing gaps.